Right now we're looking at the very inviting entrance to an abandoned Nike missile site somewhere in the Bay Area. We're going to venture inside. Okay. It's really warm down here. All right, we are currently inside of the abandoned Nike missile site. Up here are the electrical connections. They've all been stripped away. But in some of the other silos, you can still see them. So we're going to go over to those eventually. It's a ventilation system. And that's looking back up to the regular outside world. <clears throat> The ceiling here is probably around 10 to 12 feet. Smoking. There's actually pretty minimal graffiti, honestly. Because it was really important they didn't smoke down here. Look at how heavy those doors are braced. Look at that. You could actually never fall through. Hey there. Pretty sure this area was full of water for a long time. Not really sure how it would have gotten drained, but maybe it was pumped out. Right now we're looking into the elevator. This is what would have brought the missile that was in here up to the surface for a launch. There's still water underneath the elevator. That's really creepy.
This looks like an airlock. to the next ones. One cool thing about this bunker is that the mechanism holding the door up is actually still intact. First of all, look at the size of this door and the gas seal. Anyways, it's staying up all by itself and actually it's kind of hard to close it. Although this one is flooded, as you can see, with probably about three feet of water, so no use in going in here. But this one still has electrical stuff intact, which is pretty cool. As you can see, those are like really giant relays. Maybe like a transformer at the top. It's all still intact, there's ventilation. But there's really no use in going down there. It looks like it's pretty much identical to the other one. Hello again. We are now staring into the third and final, I think final, of the Nike missile bunkers down here. This one is flooded with probably four to five feet of water. So honestly, it's probably not worth going down. But I'm gonna go ahead and make the assumption that all of these are basically identical. So considering that we've seen one and a half of them, I think we're gonna call it a night. Or maybe we'll just take a quick look. We're inside bunker number three. This one, the electrical connections are pretty intact, but they're not open, so can't see too much. Just FYI, I'm actually hanging off the ladder right now, so we're not gonna be down here for too long, but this one's basically an underground lake, so there's not too much to see, unfortunately. My guess, as I said, is that they're all identical. <laughs> 